Click on the column command. Click on the C3 axis intersection. Rotate the column so that the 40 cm side of the column is on axis 3. Move upper right corner of the column to the C3 axis intersection with the spacebar. Place the column by clicking the left button. Warning is given that the column divides an architectural mode entity. Click the OK button to close the window. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Delete the slabs DO2 and DO3. Click on the beam command. Click on the C1 axis intersection as the starting point. Press the spacebar to slide the beam to the left side of the axis C. Click on the C3 axis intersection as the ending point. Beams are formed between axes 1 to 3. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Click on the slab command. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axes 1 to 2 and BC. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axes 1 to 2 and CD. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 2 to 3 and BC. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 2 to 3 and CD. Click the left button. Slabs are formed. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Open the Storty 1 ceiling page. Click on the column command. Click on the C3 axis intersection. Rotate the column so that the 40 cm side of the column is on axis 3. Move upper right corner of the column to the C. 3 axis intersection with the spacebar. Place the column by clicking the left button. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Delete slabs DO1 and DO2. Click on the beam command. Click on the B1 axis intersection as the starting point. Press the spacebar to slide the beam to the left side of the axis B. Click on the B3 axis intersection as the ending point. Beams are formed between axes 1 to 3. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Click on the slab command. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 1 to 2 and AB. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 2 to 3 and AB. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 1 to 2 and BC. Click the left button. Move your mouse over the area delimited by axis 2 to 3 and BC. Click the left button. Slabs are formed. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Turn off advanced snap from the quick access toolbar. Click on the steel beam command. Select the RHS 100 section from the steel beam toolbar section list. Approach the steel columns in perspective. Click on the top node of the steel column at the D2 axis intersection. Click on the top node of the steel column at the C2 axis intersection. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Click on the steel beam command. Click on the top node of the steel column at the D3 axis intersection. Click on the top node of the steel column at the C3 axis intersection. Steel beams are formed. Press the escape key on the keyboard to exit the command. Open the base story ceiling page. 